taking chapter 3, the next exam will be chapters 3, mainly chapter 3, and then one section from chapter 4, 4.1 that we skip, we'll come back to. Anyway, it's all graphing. It's all graphing. So the next exam, exam number 3, is all about graphs. Have you done a little bit of this before? Do you know about like how you put stuff on graphs and everything? So first off, it says, well, we're starting from the basics. We're assuming, we're assuming nothing. So plot, <laughs> plot the order 0.44. So how do, we, how do we find points? If you want to draw in your own paper some kind of, you don't have to do this all perfect, but just, you know, just draw some kind of an axis system like this. You know, just something like that. Um, have you done this kind of thing before? Maybe, I don't like that color there. So, so this is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. Have you heard of this kind of thing? You done this kind of thing before? x-axis, y-axis. This is called the Cartesian coordinate system. You heard of that word? All right. So, um, so Cartesian coordinate system comes from Mr. René Descartes. Cartesian Descartes. Do a little history here, I guess. I remember, I'm, I'm a wannabe history teacher. I think history is interesting. So Descartes came up with this. Descartes was a philosopher. Have you guys heard this statement? Let me, let me, give me 30 seconds. This, this is college relevant. After him, Cartesian, Descartes. All right, whatever. So uh, how do we put points on here? The first number, you start in the middle, the origin, start in the very middle. And the first number is how far is the x, and the second is the y. They just made it up that way. They made it alphabetical. x comes before y. So the first number is how far right and the second number is how far up. So you go right, for you go sideways first, and then up and down. So you go right four, over, this is one, two, three, four. And the left has the negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, etc. And then positive, I mean up has the positives, and down also has the negatives, negative one, negative two, negative three, like that. So when it, when it says, okay, 4, 4, that means start in the origin, go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4 up. There it is, that dot, 4, 4. That one dot has two numbers. So it takes two numbers to find one dot. It's like, like the old Battleship. You ever played Battleship where you say A3 or whatever? Maybe not. All right, anyway, it's right and up. Does that make sense? Four, four, boom. That dot right there is the location four, four. So um, and they're asking us, so you can find it here. I mean, I made my own little axis system. You could put it on theirs. And then they're saying, um, wh which quadrant is it in? Does anybody already know that about the quadrants? Yeah, where's quadrant one? Yeah, yeah, right here, huh? This is quadrant one. And then it just goes this way. Quadrant one, two, three, four. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. What kind of numbers are those I'm writing? Roman numerals. Roman numerals. One, two, three, four. Roman numerals. Roman one, two, three, four. That's, they just made that up. All this is just made up. Right? You all know that? I thought it was. What's that? I it was yeah, we so it's we heard that, yeah. Oh, okay. like, why wasn't the axis or why or not? Well, What's that? And when you start talking, I thought the Y was exactly in Y axle on top. Right. This is the Y axis. now that you put it on the right position, it's up for space and to the right. Okay, so, so right now they're just saying this dot, this dot is in which quadrant? In quadrant one. Quadrant. So they want you to say quadrant one. Yeah. So quadrant number one for that dot. Want to try the next one? So the next one's on the screen, two zero. So you put it on this system. Can you find the point two zero? So they're saying it right here, two zero. So find the dot. It's going to be a single dot, two numbers. Make one single dot. So find the dot two zero. And and then we don't intersect it with a line. We just 
Nope, for now, we're just putting one dot. We're, we're going to build up to that other stuff. You're right. Eventually. So if I, I'm kind of running out of room. Let me, let me get a. So here we go. So two zero, one two, one two, up zero. It's right there. Does that make sense? I, I started at the origin. Remember, you always start in the middle. Start at the origin, and you go one two to the right and up zero. Because remember, the first number is x, this is the sideways axis, and the second number is y, the second number's up. So the first number is sideways, the second number is up, so go right two, and then don't go up at all. Boom. Right two, up zero. That dot right there is two zero. So um, that's not in one of the quadrants, it's on one of the grid lines, isn't it? It's on one of the axes. Which axis? It's that dot is sitting on this line here. It's sitting on the x-axis. So that's our answer. It's on the x-axis. It's not actually in the middle of any of the quadrants. It's on. It's sitting on the x-axis. You good there? I'm making sense. Okay. Okay. So there's number three. So they're asking you to locate the point. 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. So can you find the point, 2, negative 1, and then say, say where it sits, either which quadrant or which axis it's on. See if you can find that. So remember, the first number is sideways, over. Second number is up, down, right? So 2, negative, so starting in the middle. So it's going to go right two, and then down one, huh? Two, negative one, is that good? Right two, down one. So yeah, which quadrant's it in? Manuel's nailing it. One, two, three, four, yeah. It's in the fourth quadrant. Is this good? Is this okay? Good. First number sideways. Second number's up down. Number four here. This point. What is what is the coordinates of that point? What are the coordinates of that point? Zero, zero. That's just zero zero. That's right at the origin, right? Just zero zero. Right. Okay. Yeah. So try to find the coordinates. Of that point right there. Get that. So right, you know, write the per it wants the parentheses with the two numbers and the comma. So yeah, so this starting from the origin, it's back three down two. Remember, you gotta go sideways first. So it's back three down two. That good? Yeah, when we get to slope, it'll be the other way, huh? It'll be the up-down first, right? And then the sideways afterwards, yeah. Is that good? We good there? <clears throat> so sideways first, then up-down. Axis Y, axis... They, they didn't, they're not asking that for this They're not asking that. Yeah. So try that. All they want is the coordinates on these. Yeah, because that would actually be on both axes, huh? So find the coordinates of B there. So again, starting from the origin. Starting, how do we get there starting from the origin? Remember, the first number is sideways. And then, so how far do we go sideways? Not at all. So no, no sideways and then up three, huh? So zero sideways up three. Is that good? Over zero, up three? All is well? All right. Okay. So now we're totally changing gears. 
They're giving me a formula now, an equation. And they're telling me like part of two numbers. Yeah, so remember the first one's always x and the second one's always y, huh? First one's always x, second one's always y. And so they're really, they're giving me the y in this case, aren't they? And they want me to find the x. So how do we do that? Yeah, exactly. Just grab that and plug it in right there for y. Right in the y spot, huh? And so what are we going to get? x minus 3 times minus 3 equals 4. We good so far? And so then <clears throat> negative 3 times negative 3 plus 9. So how do we um, finish solving for x? Minus the 9. So x is minus 5. Is that good there? We found the x. So they, they gave us a y. They gave us y is negative 3. We plugged it in and we found the x that goes with that. Does that make sense? So they can give you one letter and you find the other. Now, is everybody good with that? I'll move on if you're okay. That's actually just half of this problem. The other half so the other half of number 8, part 2, is same equation, x minus 3y is 4. And then they give another point. What is it? It's uh, 4. Uh, they give 4 comma blank. So they give a second point that they want you to find. So they're telling you the x, and they want you to give them the y. Does that make sense? They're giving you, this is the second part, they're giving you the x, so plug in that x, and then solve for the y that goes with that x. So to do that, I grab that 4, and I plug it in for x. And so what do we get? We get 4 minus 3y is 4. Good so far? And the, and the y is saying that it wants you. We've got to solve for y. It wants to be alone. So what do we do there? To solve for y. Subtract 4 from both sides. That's gone. That's gone too. Sometimes... Sometimes it can mess people up at that point. Do you know what do you want to do at this point? It's zero. Yeah, put a zero. Actually, put it exactly right. Yeah, don't, don't just leave a blank. Zero will be helpful. Go ahead and write in that zero. It's exactly right. Yeah. And so now, how do I finish solving for y? Good, good. It's not, it's not add three, huh? It's, yeah, you've got to divide because the, you know, the minus three is right next to it. It's multiplied, so, so we have to divide it. Very good. So, yeah, come in there and divide by negative 3, and so y equals, what is 0 over negative 3? Zero. Yeah, 0 on the top is just 0, huh? So that's the y value that goes with the x value of 4. So see how this is working? You know, they can give us an x, we plug it in, find the y that goes with it. Or they give us a y, we plug it in, find the x that goes with it. When I say goes with it, I mean goes with it to make this equation true. Good. Okay. Okay, so number nine. We've got this equation y equals negative seven. Just make it a little bigger there for you. Y equals negative seven x. And they're they're basically sort of half making a xy table. So it's gonna really be exactly what we just did on the last problem. That is 
They're giving me an x of 0, and they want to know what y goes with it. So we'll solve that whole problem, and after we're done, then we're going to... Then they're going to give me x and negative 1, and they want to know the y that goes with it. And we solve that whole problem. And then on the third case, they're going to give me a y of 2, and they want to know the x that goes with it. It's like three problems in one. Three different table problems. Is this making sense? So let's do the first one. So the first one is x is 0. So you just take that equation and you plug in right there, x is 0, minus 7 times 0, 0. So the y that goes with it is 0. <coughs> so that's, can you do the next one? So next one, plug in x is negative 1. be negative 1. We'll plug that in. Negative 7 times negative 1? It's regular 7, huh? Positive, regular 7. Good there? And now for the third one, it'll be a little harder. Third one, you're going to make y be 2. So try that one. y is going to be 2. So go back to the equation. Plug in y is 2 and solve for the x that goes with it. So y is going to be 2. So it's going to be 2. equals negative 7x, and how do, I, how do I solve that? How do I get x alone? Divide, yeah, divide by negative 7. Negative 7 like that. So that'll be negative 2 sevenths. It's a fraction, huh? <coughs> negative 2 sevenths, are we good there? Negative 2 sevenths. And we did it. We did all three. We completed the table. So for every, for x, 0, we found a y. x, negative 1, we found a y. And for y, 2, we found an x. So when I put in 2 for y, then solve for x. Alright, we good there? Because that, this cancels. And so x alone is minus 2 sevenths. Questions I can answer on that? Karina, you good with that? Good. Everybody good with that? Anything I can answer? All right. All right, so try number 10. Y equals a half X. So I'm going to grab the negative 2, plug that in. So y will equal a half times negative 2, which is what? Negative 1? Negative 1. We okay there? Half of 2 is 1. Positive times negative is negative. Like that? All is good. Okay. And then try the next one. Plug in zero. So grab the zero for x. Plug that in. Y is a half times zero. Y is zero, right? Good to there? And now one, one more step on that when y is 7. I'll let you do that one. 
So plug in y is 7. Good. Okay, if I erase this and do that, well, I guess I didn't have to erase it. Okay, now we're going to go y is 7, plug in y is 7, so you get 7 equals a half x. Is that good so far? Now, how do you uh, solve for x there? What do you do? <coughs> Yeah, when you've got a fraction, you call the hitman, right? You multiply both sides by 2. This cancels, doesn't it? Very good. So then x is 14. And there we go. How are we doing? Are we good on this? This your favorite section, maybe? <laughs> Pretty easy so far, right? Carlos. Where did you get um, oh, yeah, they gave it to me. Right here, they said y is 7. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I should make it a little bigger. All right. Okay, so there's number 11. Again, they're doing the table thing. So see if you can plug in the x, find the y, etc. Let me do the first one with you. So we grab the x of 0, plug it in right there for x, so we get y equals 2 times 0 minus 11, 0 minus 11, negative 11, good for the first y value, so go on, try the next one. So now for the second one, I'm going to go y, they're giving me y is negative 1, so I'm going to plug that in for y, negative 1 is 2x minus 11, like that. And um, so I'm going to need to solve for x there. So it's kind of like, you know, there's the, there's the wall, the equal sign. How do, you, uh, how do you solve that for x? Add the 11. Yeah, exactly. Add the 11. So then 2x will be 10. 11 minus 1 is 10. Last step to get x alone, D divide by the 2, right? These cancel, x is 5, so it's 5 right there for x, the x that goes with that y. Good, and then just one more part, part with the 4, so I'll do that. So... Come over here, y equals 2x minus 11. Grab the 4, put that in for x. 2 times 4 minus 11, what is that? 8 minus 11, that's a negative 3. And negative 3. Is this good? This one, this is one of the easiest sections, huh?